Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magara and today let's just talk about the fact that summer is over and so we're getting into more cool toned things. So I thought I'd create a really bright cool toned look or coolish, cooler toned look using this lovely palette because I created something with this and I really want to show you how I did it because I'm really proud of it so I thought I'd recreate it for Instagram and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not using all the exact same products like I did on my face, but the eyes definitely will and I even have some false lashes to stick on because I'm feeling extra today to be honest. So I'm just going to dive straight on in because why the hell not at this point? So for primer I've got the XX Revolution Hydra Fix Primer. It is blue, it is hydrating and it is very very sticky so I'm going to stick this. I go straight on my face with this stuff because well, I can. I do like to put a fair amount on because I do get quite dry skin. Also, the lighting situation today is not the best. It could be worse, but we're in the middle of the weather being indecisive about whether it wants to be rainy or sunny, which is not the best thing when you're trying to film a video. And it's the only time of the week I've got to film a video this well, I've got to film videos this week, so I am. Right, I'm just rubbing this down my neck because I put on a little bit too much. So I'm just going to roll with it. For foundation, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. The high... For foundation, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Full Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. I have it in the shade 100B, which is milkshake, because I am so pale. But even this is a little bit too pale for me. But I'm going to roll with it, because why not? Because I can. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my face. This stuff so full coverage and it really is not my shade right now. Did I put too much on? I think I put too much on. Now for those of you wondering how I get away with putting so much makeup on for work every day, um, my boss is pretty chilled with whatever I show up in. Like we turn up, there's a few of us who turn up in, a few people turn up in trackies. I'm generally in jeans or leggings or like walking gear, depending on the weather. Like I turn up in like culottes, jumpsuits. Basically, as long as we wear our work shirts a few times a week, because we don't actually see customers that much. It's only when we go downstairs that we see customers. He doesn't really mind what we wear. This is just a little bit of a wrong shade for me, but I'm just going to roll with it right now. And for concealer, I'm going to use the XX Revolution concealer. I have it in 0.3 and the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. I think my concealer is genuinely darker than my foundation. Oh wow. Next I'm going to go in with powder. I really love this powder at the moment. I'm sure you've seen in my favourites video. I'll link it up here. The I Heart Revolution Peach Setting Powder. It's just so nice. And big and cheap. Well, I'm not going to stop using a good product just because it's expensive. But if I find one that's better and cheaper then I'm going to be all over it. So I'm just going to use my mirror over here on the wardrobe. Now I know this is going to take a lot of powder to set down properly, but do I give a shit? Not really. This is what it's looking like, just the foundation concealer powder. And other than being a bit too light, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's all set down nicely. It's a bit tacky still, I need to put a little bit more powder on, but the majority of it is set down really nicely. It's really, it's just really nice. It is so full coverage. There is no denying that this isn't full coverage. I'm not even gonna try. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use a bit of this sleek obsessed bronzer. It is just a nice, simple, kind of warm toned bronzer. I like warm toned things. I like my bronzer to be bronzer colored. Just not a fan of the mirror in this. I'm just gonna get a little bit on my brush. Now I know I could be really extra and go really cool toned, but I'm just not in the mood for that right now. It's just a vibe I'm just not living for. I'm going to add a little bit of my Too Faced Milk Chocolate as well, just to give me a little bit more warmth. And for blush, I'm going to use my favourite. I'm sorry that it's expensive, but it is the KVD Everlasting Blush in Honeysuckle. And it's just gorgeous. I know it's bad and it hasn't even got a mirror, but it is gorgeous. Like, I just find it just makes me look alive and it isn't too pigmented, it's blendable, 
it works. If you're really pale like I am, I would rec I really recommend this. Now, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna fill in my brows, do that kind of jazz. I'll be right back with you. Now, I believe it is time for eyes. Because I'll leave highlighter to the last minute because I am extra. Because I don't want pigment to get in my highlighter and mess it all up. So, I'm using the Beauty Bay X Nikki Tutorials palette because it is gorgeous. And I know it's limited edition, but I believe it's still on Beauty Bay, it's 25 quid. It looks like this. And it's just stunning. I just love it. The blues are blue, like this colour here. It's kind of grey blue. It works so well to blend out the colours. So I'm just going to get started. So the look I'm going to be creating is this one. I'm sorry for how small this is. I am filming something on my phone for reels. And I just... Uh, well, I'm going to use my iPod because why not? So I'm going to start off by cleaning my brush because I'm an idiot. But we all knew that. I'm sorry, self-deprecating jokes make me comfortable. Don't worry. So first of all, I'm going to go in with this lovely green colour here called Ew. I'm just going to get a little flat brush and I'm just going to stick this right on the inner corner. Kind of going up following my crease because I have a massive crease and I have very weird eyes but anybody who knows me personally knows the story behind that. I do tend to kind of get this a bit further up than like it's going to be on my eye just so I've got some room for blending. I like this to be right really in there. I'm doing this all on a tacky base I'm just using my concealer as a base. I'm going to get a slightly bigger brush now, a big fluffy brush, biggish, it's a flat fluffy brush. It's a Spectrum A08 and I'm going to go in with Amsterdam, which is this very, very dark blue colour. I'm going to go in with this kind of carefully. I'm just going to blend this into the green. Because you can always go in after and add some more pigment. I'm going to go back in with that first brush again. I'll bring this quite far out just to kind of get the wing started because I don't use too many colours on like my inner corners. I'm going to bring this a bit down on solid as well just so then I've got something down there. This is going to be blended, don't worry. It's not going to be this much of a harsh line. I get with that fluffy brush, or fluffy flat brush, I'm just going to go in, deal with the edges, and blend the green and the blue in together. Next, I'm going to clean that brush off and I'm going to go in with a little bit of Plot Twist, which is this kind of grey blue colour. I'm just going to use that to really buff the edges out of that blue. Because my eyebrows have come down pretty low. Like if I had actual deep set eyes, like properly hooded eyes, they wouldn't, but... Now I'm going to go in with Slasher, which is this purple just here, very, very lightly. Because if you can't tell, I have a very... my crease comes all the way down here, so it's kind of difficult to kind of balance the colours. But I'm going to try to. So I'm going to get that little flat, the teeny tiny flat brush, the Spectrum A13, pick up some of that, and I'm just going to press that into my inner corner and kind of from there sculpt out, sculpt out the shape I want my wing to go. And bring it a bit into the purple, the blue as well. I'm going to get a clean fluffy brush like this. This is the Spectrum B06. I'm just going to really good on those edges and I'm going to use a bit of basic toot, I think it is, the nudie shade to really sculpt it out. This one is behaving so much better than this side but that is what I have to put up with because my eyes are so differently shaped sometimes. I'm going to get that flat brush I was using before to blend everything out. I'm going to use that to run a bit of purple onto my, onto my lower lash line. Then a bit of that blue Amsterdam. Then bring that almost all the way in. Then I'm going to use a denser flat brush. This is just stained red, it's not red. I've made sure of it. I'm going to really pack the green into the inner corner. Some blending may be required after this, but it is a risk I'm willing to take to really make that green inner corner really, vi really vibrant. Then I'm going to use 
teeny tiny pencil brush and I'm using a lot of brushes and I'm going to go in with yellow which is called Vila, this colour right here. And right in the centre right in the corner I'm going to just tap that in to make it a really bright neon. And then for my lid I'm going to use this shimmer here down the bottom called Mama Tutorials. And I'm going to use that on my finger. And just tap that on because this doesn't need a sticky base. It is just stunning. These shimmers are what make this palette one of my favourites because you need so little work with them. Even like the more basic colours, more everyday colours because this isn't really everyday unless you are even more extra than I am because I do not have time for this every day of the week, just about three or four days of the week. And there's a little bit of fallout underneath and get a clean brush and just brush that away. Not unless it's a game and then I'm probably going to be playing that later. This is what it's looking like at the moment and I'm going to use some of the blue and the purple just to really blend that blue, in, the shimmery blue in. So I'm just going to go in with the B06, I'm just going to use a touch of the blue and a touch of purple towards the outer corner just to kind of have a nice gradient into one another. I'm actually just stamping that on. So I have six of my liner on. I have the lovely KVD tattoo liner in Trooper Black. So I'm going to be right back with you when I've got this on because I'm not quick with eyeliner. I'm just not going to lie. So I also stuck some, um, uh, I also stuck some mascara on. And I'm going to go in and stick these unicorn lashes in Majestic AF, which look like this. I haven't ever used them before. So, um, once again, I'll be right back with you because these are going to take a little bit to stick on. But, first, I'm going to put on some Hyper Real Glow by MAC. This is one of my favourite highlighters. I'm sure if you've watched any, either of my favourite videos, you've seen this is in it because I just love it. It is looking pretty dented. Yes, this is kind of a project pan where I'm trying to get through at least one shade of it. As you can probably tell with this one. It's just such a pretty highlighter. And it's not glittery in the slightest or anything. Yes, I'll be right back with you. Again. When they said majestic as fuck, they were not shitting because like these come up pretty damn high and they are massive. But I love them. So lastly, I'm going to stick on some lipstick. I have a combination of Two Jeffree Star lipsticks. I have one in Birthday Suit and Celebrity Skin. So I'm just going to stick on Birthday Suit first. Like this. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Birthday Suit on in the middle, I think. Let's create a nice little gradient. And I believe this is a finished look. So I am loving it. I am bright. I am colourful. I have magnificent lashes. And my eyes are peacock coloured. I'm just bright and colourful. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Let me know if you want to see any more bright and colourful tutorial look type things because me being bright and colourful is just kind of a thing I am good at. There is nothing wrong with being bright and colourful, no matter what anybody says. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time in another video. Bye!